Hello everyone, this is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we're going to discuss the WIN Coat of Arms. Now before we get started I wanted to just say that I'm going to mispronounce a lot of the names and locations. These are all Welsh and for that I apologize. First Coat of Arms is blazoned Sable, a chevron between three fleur de lis argent. It was born by the winds of Bodvin and Bodville in County Carnarvon, Wales. Of this branch was John Wynne of Bodville, standard bearer of Norwich during the reign of King Edward IV. Next, we have a coat of arms, much more elaborate, but basically the same design on the shield that was borne by one of his descendants, Sir Thomas Wynne, born 1736, a British politician who sat in the House of Commons and was raised to the peerage of Ireland as Baron Newborough of Newborough in the year 1742. Here we see an oil painting of Sir Thomas Wynne, the first baron, as well as a list of the barons Newborough through the seventh Baron, who died in 1998, as well as their family estate of Plas Glen Ifan. Next, we have Vert Three Eagles displayed in Fess Orr. These are the coats of arm. This is the coat of arms of the Wynn family of Guidar. Of this branch was Sir John Wynne, born 1553, a member of Parliament and the son of Maurice Wynne. He was awarded the Wynne Baronetcy of Gwydar in the county of Carnarvon, Wales, on June, 9th, on June 29th, 1611. Here we see Sir John Wynne and the Wynne family of Gwydar belonged to a stock which engaged in, during the 14th and 15th centuries in establishing the nuclei of small estates in the free townships of Pennyfed and Pennant in, in a word I'm not even going to try to say. <clears throat> and here we see a list of the wind baronets through the fifth baronet who died in the year 1719. And here we see their estate or their castle, modern day. Another wind coat of arms for the winds of Plas Nude Bodleth, who descended through Morris Ap Llewellyn of Molrich from Einan Efel, Lord of. Sinlaith in the 12th century, the son of the King of Powys, and of this branch was Richard Wynne of Bodleth, who lived in the 16th century. Next is Wynne of Pentra Morgan, who descended from Howell, the second son of Owen at Bledon, grandson of Bledon and great-grandson of Owen, Broughton, Lord of Eterin and Dinmile. Of this family was Morgan Wynne, who flourished in the year 1672. He was a barrister at law. Next we have Argent, a cross flurry and grailed sable between four Corn Cornish chows proper, beaked and legged ghouls. This was born by the winds of Nerquis Hall in County Flintshire, who descended from Edwin, Lord of T. Gangle. And of this branch was John Wynne Esquire, who built Nerquis Hall in 1638. And it was also the arms of Wynne of Penn Claude in Denbai, who descended from Owen son of Edwin, Lord of T. Gangle in Flintshire, of this branch was Reverend John Wynne, whose daughter Catherine married Daniel Hughes, and Catherine died in the year 1760. 
And here we see Nurquis Hall, family estate. Sable three nags had the race d'argent for win of Garth and County Montgomery. They descended from Reynald to Reginald, the son of Sir Griffith Vichen, who lived in the 15th century. Of this line was Brockville Wynne, Esquire of Garth, who had a daughter and heiress named Dorothy. Next is Wynne of Malay in Denbai and Mainan Abbey. They descended through William, the second son of Meredith David. And of this line was John Wynne, born 1689, High Sheriff and a Member of Parliament for Denbai and the son of William Wynne. Here we see Mainan Abbey as a hotel at the modern day. Next is Wynne of Betts, Aber Galau, who descended through Bledon, the second son of Edred, son of Ireworth from Marchud, who was the founder of the eight noble tribes of Wales in Powys. Of this branch was Colonel Robert William Wynne, born 1761. Next, arms of the Winds of Tower in Flintshire, who descended through John, third son of Griffith Ap Llewellyn, son of Einion Efel. Of this line was John Wynne, who lived in the year 1592 of the Tower, Flintshire, described as a gentleman, meaning he made money through land ownership. And next, Ghouls on a Bend Argent, three martlets sable. Crest, a unicorn's head erased, argent maned, horned, and crying proper. I'm not sure on this, as the source didn't state who the armager was, but one guess, and it's only a guess, would be Thomas Wynne of Dufferin Ald at Lan Sannon in Denbai, who was granted a crest in the year 1590. And if you enjoyed this video and would first like to discover who your ancestors were, and second, learn whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.